For lesson eight practice problems, what we've got is a map that shows parts of Texas and Oklahoma. And for question eight, it says, about how far is it from Amarillo to Oklahoma City? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so what I have here is I just measured the uh, scale. And so this, this part that I'm dragging around is represents 60 miles, you know, uh, in real life. On the map, it's just like, I don't know, it looks like about an inch, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of figure this out and I'm gonna put this right there, Amarillo, right there, that's about 60 miles and I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting that. And there's another 60 miles. That's like another 60 miles, but you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm kind of draw. Like right there, that's, that's like another 60. And that looks like about half. So right there, you know, once once we get into Oklahoma, so it's like about 30 miles. So you got 60, 60, 60. That's 180 plus 30. That's 210 miles. Is that exact? I don't know. Probably not. But it's pretty close, probably. All right, so driving at a constant speed of 70 miles per hour, will it be possible to make this trip in three hours? All right, so um, not that you guys probably have this off the top of your head, but I probably talked about it in the lesson. But the distance formula, uh, distance, in case you didn't already know, distance equals rate you know, which that's just another way of saying speed um, times time. And the time has to be in hours. Okay, so distance equals rate times time. Rate times time. So, um, so if driving at a constant speed of 70 miles per hour, so 70 miles per hour, will it be possible to make this in three hours? So if I do this like times three, well, that's... The exactly 210. Seven, 70 times 3 is exactly 210. So I'd say, yeah, you're cutting it close, but yes. Because no one really drives at a constant rate. You know, in real life, our driving can fluctuate. You go up, you go down, you might have to stop for snacks or gas or whatever. You know, there's a lot of other things that happen, but constant rate is, you know, in this for the sake of this math problem, you have to just imagine that your speed was exactly 70 miles an hour for the entire trip. All right. Uh, for number two, a local park is in the shape of a square. A map of the local park is made with a scale that says that one inch is equivalent to 200 feet. One inch to 200 feet. So if the park is shown in, um, as a square in the map, each side, um, of which is one foot long, how long is each side of square park? All right, so this one just, <clears throat> I think the only tricky thing about this problem is that, you know, it gives you right here inches to feet, but um, yeah, I think it's good to know that one foot equals 12 inches. 12 inches right there. So, um, so the, so if the park, uh, what does it say? How long is the size of the square park? So on the map it's 12 inches. On the map it's 12 inches, so you're going to do 12 times 200. Okay? And that's going to be 2,400 feet. All right, if a straight path in the park is 900 feet long, um, how long would the path be when re represented by the, by the map?
So for this one, we've got a straight path in the park. It's 900 feet long. How long would the path be when represented on the map? Well, um, it says one inch is 200 feet, 200 feet. And so we just want to figure out, I don't know, now I'm just kind of just eyeballing this. But, all right, so this, let's say that's 200 feet right there. All right, there's another inch, that's 200 feet. All right, that's another inch. Now these are not, this is not exact, but I'm just kind of just using this just for a visual representation. So you got 200, 200, 200. All right, so, so far we have um, 600 feet. And then right here, here's another 200. So at this point we have 800 feet and we're only 100 feet away. So we're 100 feet away. So um, now this is, one inch. These are all one inch. All right. And so we need another 100 feet. So another 100 feet would just be a half inch. Okay. So how long would the, the path be when represented on the map? Probably around four and a half feet. Or not four and a half feet, but four and a half inches.